Hi, I'm Kari Lavikka, and I'm presenting a new declarative method and a tool for authoring interactive genome visualizations. This work was motivated by two research questions. The main question is how to visualize atypical data. Genome browsers such as IGV and UCSC couple the visual representation to specific file formats. The track types are rigid, offering few customization options for the visual encodings. Flexible tools exist for static plotting, but they are not interactive. So the question is, how to author novel interactive visualization designs for custom genomic data, and how to do it without having to write a lot of code for each new design? The secondary question is, if the data consists of multiple dimensions and hundreds of samples, how to explore them interactively and more swiftly than with the current state of the art? To address these questions, we created GenoSpy, a GPU-accelerated visualization tool. It provides a visualization grammar that allows for authoring novel visualization designs by using combinatorial building blocks, such as graphical marks, scales, transforms, and so on. GGplot2 is a well-known example of a grammar-based tool. However, it is tightly coupled to the R statistical programming language. GenomeSpy is heavily inspired by a bit less known grammar called Vega Lite, which has a powerful hierarchical view composition algebra, which is perfectly adaptable to track-based genome visualizations. We implemented a subset of Vega Lite, but extended it with support for genomic data, including genomic coordinates. Let's now look at how GenomeSpy visualizations can be specified. This is an example of a simple unit specification which is a JSON document with a specific structure. The data element specifies what data to use. In this case, it is a CSV file with two columns, X and SIN. Mark specifies which graphical marks to use, point. Encoding specifies how the fields in the data are mapped to different visual channels. Each datum or row is displayed as an instance of the point mark. This specification is actually compatible with both Vigalite and GenoSpy. Now I show an example of a concrete application that employs the grammar. High-grade serous ovarian cancer is largely copy number driven. Parts of the genome are repeated and some have been lost. Identification of the aberrant regions from next generation sequencing data can be accomplished using the Genome Analysis Toolkit. To allow for better scrutiny of the results, I created a GenomeSpy-based visualization tool. Let's open the tool and some data files. This dataset consists of about 4 million raw data points, shown in blue, along with the modeled segments, the black lines. The user can see a genome-wide overview and zoom into details to see the breakpoints more clearly. Continuous zooming and panning allows the user to scan the results swiftly. Thanks to the GPU, the interactions are fast and smooth. The grammar allows for specifying a complex view hierarchy, involving concatenation and layering. The second case is about comparison of multiple samples and dimensions. The data consists of 375 samples collected from 74 high-grade serous ovarian cancer patients at diagnostic, mid-treatment and relapse phases of the disease. The figure displays the visualization design. The background color encodes the log2 copy ratio, height of the rectangle encodes the loss of heterozygosity, and points display point mutations and indels. The point color encodes functional category and the size encodes allele frequency. Unfortunately, the specification is too large to be shown here. However, the visualization also contains an annotation track. The Cosmic Cancer Gene Census is a set of cancer-related genes. Each gene has a number of attributes, including the genomic coordinates and the role in cancer. Because the genes may have multiple roles, the visualization design requires some creativity. In this example, the census data is first transformed. The comma-separated roles are split or flattened, and subsequently a stacked layout is computed. Finally, each role is displayed as a stacked colored rectangle. So, 
Here's the interactive visualization. The cancer gene census track is visible at the bottom. The main viewport displays the genomic data. Metadata is visible on the left. The user can zoom and pan around the genome. The peak tool allows for quickly zooming closer into the samples. It appears that the TP53 gene is mutated in virtually all samples. The samples can be filtered and sorted by the metadata or genomic data. All transitions are animated smoothly, as it allows for better perception of causality. Mutations use score-based semantic zooming to avoid overplotting. Approximately constant number of mutations are always visible. The user can backtrack the actions to explore another path. Although the grammar already allows for specifying many practical visualizations, its expressivity could be enhanced by implementing new graphical marks, transforms and scales. When it comes to data, all are loaded and processed during initialization. So, although GenoSpy can smoothly animate millions of data items, it doesn't scale to massive dense datasets. In future, we are planning to implement some sort of lazy loading scheme. Nothing in the visualization grammar depends on a GPU. Later on, it could also be used for producing static plots that could be exported as SVG images. The grammar-based approach allows for using combinatorial building blocks to order novel visualization designs. The design space is no more limited to predefined track types with few customization options. As a declarative approach, it provides a number of benefits. First, the user doesn't have to use a programming language. Second, rendering is decoupled from the specification. And finally, the design space can be extended by implementing new building blocks. GenoSpy is used on a daily basis in our lab. Although it is still work in progress, it may already be useful for others as well. Thank you.